So am I the only one that's been burned out by these gender war debates and arguments? I feel like even though I'm learning so much about other people's experiences, I catch myself getting triggered and getting trauma from things that hasn't even happened to me because I'm absorbing it too much. Now, some of you are thinking, well, just scroll, just ignore it. And as much as I click the I'm uninterested button or the block button, there's always some new doo-doo head that's coming up with some toxic crap. So I've taken it upon myself to find some Reddit threads that kind of give hope basically. <laughs> because we all need some hope. We all need some hope. And I found threads specifically for people that found love late in life. And I want to share them with you. Let's do it. So, and again, I intentionally found stories that were from people that are over the age of 30. Because this, oh, after 30 or used up is bullcrap. And here's some proof. Traumatizing breakup from a decade long relationship at 29. Took me at least three to four years over a year of regular therapy, 65 first dates, and one blank relationship before I started to contemplate even taking a break from looking for my future partner. 65 first dates, girl, you strong. I was going through my last round of old matches. I chat with three to six at a time to meet up with and see if there is any chemistry before moving on to the next batch. At the time, I've done three years of old and it was getting exhausting. Girl, I'm exhausted reading this. No shit. My tall, handsome, and incredible, kind, and loving fiance was in the last batch. We're the same age, with similar background and education. We're both silly in the same way and love the same things. I was 32 then. I'm turning 35 this month. I will be getting married this year. Exhibit B of being able to find love late in life. I was a divorced mom of three in my late 30s and not expecting to have a relationship again because my kids have special needs. I was going through a bad time and posted on a site similar to Reddit. A guy from the site messaged me and we started talking and about 18 months later, he immigrated to Canada. We've been together about 17 years now. We're still kind of amazed that things worked out. It was just such a fluke that we ever started talking at all. You just never know. Exhibit C of finding love late. Please pardon the uh, the clip down below. I was watching Nine Day Fiance clips while researching. <laughs> Multitasking. Anyway, my dad and my stepmother got married when she was 45. It was her first marriage and she spent a lot of time to work on her career. They are very happy with each other now. They are a much better match than my dad and my mom ever were. No offense to my mom. She's a wonderful lady, but they are... They just aren't compatible. That's life. Don't give up hope though. They found their person at an even later stage of life than the OP, I'm talking about the OP, later life than you are now. Become comfortable with yourself and know that in time you'll meet the right person. If you made it this far, please put in the comments if you want a part two. I really want to make this a series. Um, so like and share, repost. I promise I'll get better at the reading out loud. <laughs> Is my first one. I'm a little nervous. I'm sorry. But let me know what you think. If you want to see more of these positive stories, just to get motivated and that I won't say find hope. Hope isn't the right word. But get out of this burnout and this negative energy uh, that the internet is giving out. You know, I'm just trying to balance it out. I'm just trying to do my part. So like and follow.